Whenever a woman has kids, help is definitely always needed. That's why things like Omugo exist. Now, for those of you that don't know what Omugo means, Omugo means when the mother-in-law or the mother? The mother. Yeah, the mother comes to help the daughter that just had a baby. Wherever they are, people always fly their mothers to America or whatever from the Omugo because it's so essential. Now, for this case, Jay-Z and Beyonce decided to skip the whole Omugo part and decided like to they hire... Know what that is. <laughs> and decided to hire not one, not two, not three, but six nannies for sir and Rumi carter three for sir three for Rumi. yeah basically so mm -hmm. each child has um three nannies and each nanny costs a hundred thousand dollars that is an estimated whoa, 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 whoa. 30 million naira hold up yeah hold up yeah like a hundred thousand dollars for one nanny per annum per I, day I, per no i know it's definitely not per day per week I'm not quite I just want sure, to know, but like I think we're in the wrong profession. We're talking definitely. about like we, we have to have our whistles down now. But I think there's this nanny profession now. <laughs> so now Hove, you're a nanny. Hove and <laughs> Bay, they're, they're, they're making a strong case for it. So now you're a nanny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, where does a nanny earn? Yeah, hundred thousand dollars. That is what like some big corporate players make uh, yeah. per annum. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So it's crazy. It's ridiculous. Like, it's, what, it's thirty million naira. And let's not forget about the two nannies that apparently five-year-old Blue Ivy has. So altogether, they have eight nannies. I'll do, I, I do it for less, far less. <laughs> I, I'll take care of both of them. Yeah, far I, less. I honestly Just feel like I, I'll do it for way less too. But they said, this, so the reason for the six different nannies is because the twins sleep at very different times and the, and the nannies work between shifts. work shifts. So they work eight oh. hour shifts. So that's three nannies that, go for, that covers 24 hours in the entire day. Okay. So basically, to an extent, it's quite essential, I mean. Okay, so what, as in each nanny, I don't, I don't even care how many they are. Do you get what I mean? But each nanny costs a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. I have to go and research that. I mean, yeah. is it per day, I'm per probably, week, per month? I, I don't know if it might be per month, probably. Do you ever think that you're in your own profession? Of course, I always think you're in your own profession. As in, every time I hear such things, I just think like, why did I? I mean, it? sometimes what you. Was all that school for? Yeah, but sometimes when you hear all this money that for? some certain people, some certain people steal from the government, don't you wish that you were a corrupt politician too? I do not <laughs> wish. You I just wish a, you were in that wish, scenario. Ju I just, I, <laughs> John, I don't wish I was a corrupt politician. I just wish that you know, I just. Came, you know that the way you're just wishing. Stumbled like, upon. Yeah, stumbled up. You just stumbled up at a building where they kept money, and, and it was like, just you, like, what? oh, mistake, money. I <laughs> just go. Do you get what I mean? I never I'm getting you. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. Spanish fashion brand Zara channels retro vibes with the launch of its pre fall 2017 collection. The new season takes a spotlight in a lookbook called City Lights. Models showcase shades of the 70s and 80s with loose fitting silhouettes and colorful prints. From long trench coats to midi dresses and high waist pants, Zara turns up the volume for the pre-fall season. From designer gowns to palette embellished confections, Fashion 360 selects the best gowns to hit the modern red carpet. Alright, so it's all about the Kit Style Award. What is your style? My style is... Um, glamorous. I think it's just such a great day where we can actually, you know, throw our hair back and just look pretty and just support each other. In a time when asking, who are you wearing, can be misinterpreted as trivializing. Tell us and some people at home, who are you wearing? Uh, this is by April by Kumbi. Fashion 360's regular take toasts the icons and upstarts rewriting fashion's rapidly changing lingua franca amid a mashup of millennials, social media, and the new modern glamour. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. The red carpet is undergoing some kind of revolution, and you are part of it. Look out for the red carpet roundup on Spice TV's Fashion 360. <laughs>